why I'm putting a lot of stress on this because if you look here this thing you know these dots these dots is drawing here these are actually what this is the gastric grooves reticular grooves or esophageal grooves what is the important of this is the anatomical structure this is a, a, a one day old calf will be born with this anatomical structure which anatomical structure esophageal grooves okay are the reticular grooves so what is the role of this structure here which much important which is related to human development this they are, have actually these structures you know they are called as they are a muscular fold actually they are what they have lips you know right lips okay this one is left lips and middle there is the groove okay what really happen this groove start from where you know cardiac uh, portion of the stomach they start from the cardiac portion up and end up to the reticulum or mesial orifice you know the word orifice opening so this this groove are these two lips you know muscular folds right and left of the gastric esophageal groove they start from where from cardiac orifice and and end up to reticular omasum you know this omasum omasum orifice so actually they are making a tube what really happen these lips actually become close we call esophageal groove closure they close when they close they form a tube when they close they form a what really happen at the first day the liquid food which is a colostrum or milk which are giving to the calf that will do what you know this food with the help of this esophageal groove or that tube directly go into the abomasum it will bypass what it will bypass rumen reticulum and omasum this is this esophageal groove is also called a bypass in layman language this is also called as a a bypass actually for the milk this milk directly go into the you know why because at that this is the first phase okay in that first phase in the first week you are calf you know the stomach of calf is the first phase okay is you can call that first phase is non ruminant non point is that at that stage we do not have develop human we do not have develop human on the first week or the first day so what does it mean it mean we cannot give any feed to the calf which needs human to do some activity which need human to do and we also know there is no proper develop um, development of human so we want the developed structure at the first week is which one abomasum so the feed we are providing to the calf it will directly reach to the abomasum it will directly reach to the it will not fall into rumen or reticulum it will not fall into rumen and reticulum that's why nat nature have provided a esophageal grooves or the gastric groove or the reticular groove with you know the some when the uh, calf do the suckling you know then the calf do the suckling a stimulate a stimulus come a reflex action occur and these grooves close and make a tube this groove close and make a tube and this tube will lead milk in directly into the there is a involvement is a different theories how exactly this work we still don't know but one is that this is a there is a great effect of suckling when calf do a suckling a um, uh, dam uh, udder are the taking of uh, uh, you know uh, milk from the feeder due to the suckling there will be the uh, suckling reflex there will be the suckling reflex which will act on as close this groove and make a tube and milk go into the abomasum people believe there is also involvement of the vagus nerve and any other factor they are involved which are doing the closures of this groove and which helps to make a tube and milk lead into the abomasum that's clear so point was that 
in early stage we do not have develop human so the at the first week you know in other sense from 1 to 3 week okay 1 to 3 week you are cough is non ruminant 1 to 3 week your cough is non ruminant at that time you have to apply what kind of food a food which have protein because abomasum can digest protein abomasum can digest protein and milk is the source of protein am i right casein you know that so at early stage in the first week okay one to three week we do what we provide milk to the calf or milk replacer if this is on a commercial dairy farm okay milk replacer are similar somehow in composition with the milk or sometimes people say they are much better they are much better they are designed in the way to help abomasum that's clear so this milk directly go into the abomasum in 1 to 3 week in the second phase which is actually we called as transitional phase transitional transitional phase mean the first phase in non ruminant from 3 to 12 no it's maybe 8 week it's maybe 8 week what really happen there is a transition is occurring there is a if you have to change the feed you have to add that feed which help what which help the rumal epithelium growth which help the rumal epithelium growth which feed you will give you know which helpful any concentrate any grains you know grains are very good for what for the rumal epithelium development so at that stage you, you your feed will be consist of two things milk and grains on what milk and grains okay so milk plus grains so this will help you are rumen to the develop there will be the this phase is known as transitional phase from from non ruminant toward the ruminant you know after 12 week okay after sorry 8 week to third uh, up to the 12 week or after week week the third phase is known as true ruminant known as true true ruminants you are human or a calf uh, is fully developed now are fully developed now at that stage you can now give the what rumen actually digest most they do digest what forages grass so you can start that food you can start that which are need to digest uh, human to the digest okay you know what is happening here if there is a thing you need to understand if you are continuously putting your calf on milk not giving grains not giving and grain pasture not following this method what will happen you our calf will take lot of time to development of your human development of the human it's believe that if you do not give uh, only give milk to the calf let's suppose first it will take 16 to 18 week it will take maybe more and the development of human will also not proper maybe still after many weeks you will find the surface of the human is smooth no papilla out there but if you want a better development after 3 week you introduce grain to the uh, uh, the calf you introduce with milk what things you introduce grains this will help in the growth and the, if you are following this pattern what really happen the normally maybe the human takes to grow 15 to 16 week but it can be achieved in only 8 weeks it can be achieved only you know early development will help into the early weaning this are this is the target of commercial dairy farms specially we want early weaning we want to calf do not drink milk because we want to sell milk and calf go on other feeds okay as soon as possible but for go on other feeds we need we need a what a developed human we need a developed human so this happening here so this the strategy you need to do that here if you are in the non ruminant phase you give liquid food okay mean milk but in the second phase which is the transitional phase 
you provide millet plus solid feed millet plus means greens mean grains and go on next after two week uh, two weeks you can introduce what grass after this after in the third in the the phase which is known as the true ruminant that's clear and this is you must remember what is the role of reticular groove and gastral grooves in the early phase okay after you know when the rumen start developing this grooves actually become functional less this become functional less later on in medicine in species and lower we can trigger we can use this for medicine purpose we you want to enter some medicine which you want directly go into the abomasum the medicine you don't want enter in the rumen or reticulum and absorb here if if this is your target with some drugs this grooves can be active again this groove can be for short period of time but normally what really happen it is active mostly in the first week after birth mostly active in the first week after birth that's clear okay listen again carefully today we have discussed rumen development in calf some basic things you already know that rumen is one of the main part of the ruminant stomach or compound stomach what really happen when a calf born on the day old or one day of age they do not have well developed rumen especially they do not have well developed rumen epithelium rumen epithelium that's the important point they do not have well developed rumen epithelium and also at that at that time the you can say the calf is not a proper ruminant you can call that is a non ruminant because at that time abomasum is active abomasum is the largest stomach and all the function of stomach is performing by abomasum but with the passage of time two or three week there will be the beginning of the development of the rumen which is we call as transitional phase from non ruminant to converted converting into the ruminant so it's in the first you know it's we taking if to be talking roughly so the first two week of the calf okay the first two months sorry first two month is much important for the health of calf because it's fast or slow these are the two months you have for the development of the rumen development mostly it's achieved in one month now in some cases you know but it's depend uh, how kind of feed you are providing to the rumen and also you know early stages if there is some problem with feed or you are not providing care to the calf it can have a diarrhea okay and this diarrhea is fatal it can lead to the death of calf in early stage the death of calf uh, ha happening due to the diarrhea and the reason is that at that time the rumen is not well developed okay this could be happening maybe a failure of this function of this gastric groove maybe your milk trap into the rumen okay if this is not properly working milk definitely go into the rumen and reticulum this will be create problem why because that time rumen is not well developed so point again is that at the on the day of birth we have not well developed rumen but in the passage of 6 to 7 week it will be developed it will be developed. and the thing which we need to, uh, to focus on that is the rumen epithelium actually rumen epithelium develop because rumen epithelium is involved in the function of rumen okay because the host for microorganism is the rumen epithelium the absorption which you you do uh, rumen do is do via epithelium via epithelium which are the actually the known as the papilla that's clear okay this diagram give you the idea how which compound have how many capacity at the early stages you know is an other important thing which we are missing here in the in the first day we have 3 to 4 liter capacity hole the st stomach whole stomach capacity is 3 to 4 liter but on the 12th day this because the rumen is increasing the capacity is also increasing there is 20 to 30 liter and adult mature cow okay the, it have 150 to 250 liter capacity this whole stomach okay including all four chambers that's clear
थैंक यू वेरी मच